This is just fishing wire, and I've put two little bolts at the end of it so you know I don't lose the actual wire. You're gonna slide it under the piece, just mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got a little clay on the cameraman's knee. <laughs> and um, you're gonna take your fingers and just lift it up. There you go. See, I'm not gonna go near you right now because I'm scared <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> there you go, and you have the cup. And as you can see, I've thrown it a little larger than this one because when it dries, it does shrink. So, so this is so it this dried, is, let's say, uh, 24 hours. Okay, it's dried. Mm -hmm. And I've carved the little feet, which I use with one of these tools. And what I do, I just, you know, I take it and I carve and I make my little feet. It's very simple. And sometimes I put a little, and squishy see, you know, just to add a little detail. And if you notice on some of my mugs, and I'll grab one of my mugs. I had one here, yes, that's it. Da -da 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 -da. If you look at my little mugs, I have little faces and I have little handles too, you know? I make cups, but I also that's make some mugs. That's interesting, I like, I like to have that. So the little details, and I think this is what makes it when you know it's, yeah. it's handmade and it's just, it's art. I mean, it's not just a cup, but you're yeah. holding somebody that, Actually, somebody you know yeah, took the time to do, and that, that's what makes it. So I, I prefer to drink coffee in this. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is how a kiln looks like. There are bigger ones. There are smaller ones. Um, there, are the, there are other ones that don't have covers on the top that you load by pulling out uh, the little compartments here. But generally, uh, you put your pieces in, and when your piece is completely dried, you put them in the kiln, and you go through a first firing, uh, which is called a bisque. And what happens is that the fire, the, the piece gets half fired, I guess, like half baked. Okay, so, <laughs> which is how I feel most of the time. And then we eat it. <laughs> and then we eat it. No, that would be very bad. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like, so um, the clay I'm using uh, gets fired at about 2,200 degrees maximum, and that's when it's fully fired. But, um, during the first fire, you just want to partially fire it, so it only gets fired to like a thousand degrees. 